Hi guys, this is Connie. Back for some more Connie Reads Lawn Boy by Gary Paulson. Excuse me. We are on chapter eight, titled Dramatic Economic Expansion, Its Causes and Effects. Your problem, Arnold said, is both simple and a bit complex. More tea? No, I'm fine. Outside, the rain seemed to let up a bit, then came down harder. I could hear thunder way off somewhere. What are you talking about? He took a sip of tea. Man, I like this tea. It comes straight from India, you know. All the yogis drink it. I hear the Beatles used to drink it all the time. Arnold? Oh, well, let's go back to when all this started. All right? You bet, please. You remember that I had a cash flow pro uh, you remember that I had a cash flow problem then and instead of paying you cash I started an account for you under my own name because you're too young to have an account? Yes. And we bought 80 shares of a coffin manufacturing firm for 50 cents a share? I nodded. I'm still with you. There's some risk of course with buying what they call penny stocks, which these were but I thought with just $40 invested, even if the company went belly up, the loss rate would not be unbearable. I'm still here. Well, the stock did not lose. After the second quarter of the year, it turned out the company had a great deal of land in northern Minnesota, upwards of 2,000 acres of hardwood, hardwoods that they planned to use to make the coffins. Another sip of tea. I waited. This had not been reported initially, but the land with the valuable hardwoods was free and clear and belonged to the company. It was part of their net worth that nobody knew about, and when word got out, the stock rose dramatically. How dramatically? Normally, I dislike these things because they give a wrong impression about the stock market. 10, 12% a year is a good figure to think about making in the market. These explosions are very unpredictable and there is always an element of risk and one shouldn't plan on how big an explosion. The first day it jumped to just over $10 and I thought of selling. Stock purchased at 50 cents and sold for $10 gives an excellent return. But the sudden surge caused a lot of interest and people started wanting to buy the stock. That drove the price up farther and still farther and I finally sold at $100.10 a share. So your $40 investment brought you just over $8,000, less my 5% commission. You mean I have $8,000 on top of the other 8,000? I dumped them together in my head. Eight and eight is 16, $16,000. Less commissions and those other things, taxes, less taxes, $16,000. Well, not exactly. I assumed I had a rather free hand with your investment, so I reinvested it and some of the other money you've been giving me, and frankly, I took a daring risk with one stock. I invested my own money at the same time and took the same risk. What did you invest in? It was one of those freak software things, believe me. Normally, I wouldn't give it a second thought. They're just too big a gamble. But the quarterly, but the quarterly earnings looked good. They had a new idea about nationwide internet use, something to do with vastly improving the speed. A company called Walleye. I brought you 3,000 shares at 60 cents a share. And we lost? Oh my no. The new internet system they evolved swept the country and the stock jumped to $10 and split, which gave you 6,000 shares at five. Then went back up to $10 and split again, which gave you 12,000 shares, which climbed back up to 50 to 550 a share, and hung there and flattened out. So I sold it when it went back down to $4. He had, as they say, gone past my knowledge envelope about the stock market. So you sold my 3,000 shares for $4? No, no, he shook his head. I had it split and then resplit. You had 12,000 shares at $4 a share. I must point out that this kind of growth is unprecedented. The numbers were there. I knew they were, but they didn't register. I was just, it was just too much to understand to believe. I was 12. That morning, my parents were having trouble deciding if they could afford a newer used car. 
Five weeks earlier, my grandmother had given me her old riding lawnmower and I'd started mowing lawns. I was only 12 and Arnold had sold 12,000 shares of walleye for $4 a share. $48,000, is that right? Well, less commission, of course. Of course, sure, right, ugh, let me get this straight. Sure, I know it's all kind of far out. No, wait, you're telling me that I started with an old lawn mower and now I have, what do I have? Well, from all of your stocks and bonds right now, over $50,000. It's less because I took out my commission, but I will, of course, reinvest it. Of course. All in solid, safe, blue chip stocks and government bonds, he smiled. Perhaps you'd better take a few deep breaths. You seem to be weaving a bit. I have $50,000 and change, plus the 8,000 from mowing. And change? You, he said, my, m smiling, have had a very groovy month. But I didn't hear him finish the sentence. I had fainted. And that's the end of chapter eight. Woo, okay. So be careful with that and enjoy. Please and thank you. And I will see you for the next installment very soon because I want to see what happened next. What happens next? Bye.